it's now 11.30. But I do want to tell you guys what I've been up to this morning. And you guys ready to see it? Boom, new desk. So uh, at first notice, this probably looks a little like absurd, you know, because like I have this whole empty area and then I have this. Well, what you guys are seeing right here is the old stream setup. And you're also seeing me in my webcam sample because webcams here sample there, you know what I mean? For those of you guys who are like, well, what are you talking about? Well, one, I have a Twitch channel. I stream over on Twitch. Two, I also made a second channel recently that uh, I will leave down in the description. And for it'll basically be uh, videos either that I don't put on this channel or uh, mostly it'll be like the stream highlights. It'll be mostly revolved around the stream. So whether it's uh, I went fishing on the stream, whether it's sitting here on the stream, either playing games, doing random stuff. Uh, I plan on putting a couch back here and uh, we'll sit back here, have a little how wow, or you never know what we're gonna do. But the stream is there. I have the capability of hooking the stream up to this camera right here that you guys are on. So if we wanted to, we literally could stream off this quality camera uh, in this room, uh, outside this room, fishing, like anywhere. So. It's pretty cool. So if uh, we wanted to do that, we can. But I just wanted to uh, show you guys, well, this is kind of what I've been doing all morning. Uh, and if you got anyone's wondering, this is a butcher block slab that I stained and clear coated. So it's nice and smooth to the touch. It's not sticky or anything. It's a good, solid piece of wood. Got a little bit of stain. I guess you can call this like overspray or something. It, it took quite a few days to get uh, stained and settled because those of you guys who know stain well, it takes multiple days to make sure it's cured along with the clear coat that I put on top of it and everything else. So hopefully we have no issues with this. And uh, yes, I'm aware all of the cables, they are a mess, but that's why we have all of this stuff. We got little things here, some straps there. We have all these raceways. I have a power strip, I have a bunch of stuff that I wanna get done, but I don't wanna do it yet because, well right now, you see this problem? We have a PC and we have a PS5. PS5, I love you, but you need to go. So we're going to build a whole new PC. Uh, long story short, basically. But for the time being, I'm going to at least upgrade my current PC. I'm gonna upgrade the graphics card and I'm upgrading the RAM in it just to kind of hold me over until, uh, because the PC I wanted to build is, we can call it a next gen build if you wanna. It's basically, I wanted to get uh, the 40 series graphics cards. So for those of you guys who have no idea about computers, you guys are like, well, huh, what's going on? For those of you guys who know, if you know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm waiting on that, those prices, well one, they came out, one, the prices are ridiculously too high, so I'm gonna wait to build that computer. So instead of waiting and like trying to build that one, but then waiting on graphics card, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna upgrade my current one, get it done. Uh, start pumping out videos on the other channel for you guys. Start pumping out a bunch more streams. Love to stream. I think I'm planning on doing Monday through Thursday for sure, or Monday through Friday for sure. And then Saturday, Sunday, or maybe. So I'll keep you guys updated with the more consistency and the more comfortable I get with that. You guys may have noticed we have all of Augie's fish back here. I don't know if I've mentioned that. We put all of Augie's fish in Kevin's tank. We're actually going to, oh, hi Pepper. How's it going? Sorry, didn't see you there. Uh, we're gonna get rid of the big flacco that's over there. We're also gonna get rid of the pot view. They're just too big. They create this green tinge in the water because of there's just, there's too much fish and bio load for this filter that's on here. Uh, I clean it out daily. We've done like multiple water changes since we've been in this house, everything like that. It just leaves like this tannicky look to it. And I, I don't know why, I don't know what causes it, but for some reason these fish are just too much. They, they were too much on the bio load in Augie's other tank, the 200 gallon. So I'm not too sure. I don't know if it's the Pleco that poops a ridiculous amount. I don't know if it's the Paku. Uh, I know it's not the catfish in the back. I know it's not the Bodia and I know it's not the Oscar for sure. So we're gonna get rid of those two fish. We'll probably take them down either Mark's or Andy's and probably trade them in for different fish. I'll probably end up trading them in for saltwater fish for the time being. And then once we get traded in for them, we'll get a few saltwater fish and then we'll, we'll eventually revisit this tank. I would love to get either a gar or an arowana. A clown knife would be pretty cool in here as well. Just something, cause this tank's very open. It's very in the open. I'm also going to have another camera like this ran around and up and mounted up and next to the, uh, the fish tank here. I don't know if I'm gonna put it up front or on the side. I'd love to get an underwater camera, but I don't know if I can always have an underwater camera wired up. That'll be something I'm not too sure about. Plus it probably looks better from the outside than being in there. It probably looks a little clearer. Other than that, I'm done rambling. Uh, we have, we, we, we got a package. I, I don't know what's in it. All I was told is, uh, well one, who it's from. Come on, Pepper, let's go. Come on, Pepper. 
Come on, come on, come on. I don't trust you around my chair. You were a wild cat at one point, and she likes to scratch things, and I don't want her to scratch up my nice chair. It was a little expensive. Like I was saying, uh, we got this package here. I got the invoice right here. I won't show you guys too much of that, but we got a package. It is from actually Outback Culture, so I will leave their links down in the description. We've been talking back and forth. Uh, they have a whole bunch of stuff. They have reels. Uh, they have like tackle boxes, pliers, any type of accessory. They have clothing, anything you very pretty much want for fishing, uh, and I don't know what they sent me. I don't know if they sent me a reel. I don't know if they sent pliers they could have sent me a box full of nothing for all i know so let's go ahead and open it and then whatever it is inside we're gonna have to figure out what to do with it once once we get it open so well, let's open this puppy up uh what do we got in here uh I, I don't know what this is looks like a real box uh it is a real it says fishing reel on it, it is a 3000 size i don't know if it's a i'm assuming it's a spinning reel let's find out let's open it up Oh, thank you. Let's let's read this out loud to everybody. Holy, this is handwritten. This is impressive. All right. Hey, Ty, hope you got the package okay. Wanted to write you and personally say thanks for working with the crew here at Outback Culture and welcome you to the family. Inside is our Helix 2.0 3000 series. It's the light action reel. We hope it finds you well as we look forward to working with you, a valued ambassador to our team. Thank you, Outback Culture team. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. We'll set that over there. Let's let's break this puppy out of here. We gotta set it set it down. Oh, it's still in another wrapper. God, they really went the extra mile to protect this sucker, huh? All right, here's this, and we got one more. Oh, hang on, we got a little little secret granny knot right there. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's gold. Look at that. Oh, this thing looks fancy. Hold up, hold up. We gotta tighten this. Hang on, we, we gotta tighten her down. Hold up, hold up. Tighten her down, tighten her down. First thing I noticed right out the gate was the power handle. It is really smooth. I will say. Uh. Oh, it has some nice loud drag. Uh, everything on it feels pretty sturdy. Like you know, it, it, it rattles a little bit. But that's just because it's the spool shaking. I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know what to do with it. But this feels pretty good. Only way to do is we gotta put her to the test. It is very light. I will say, when they said light action, they were not joking. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, we'll throw this. I have a rod actually that would work perfect on this. A light rod. I actually won it in a snook tournament uh, the other a few weeks ago. Now I guess it would be. But uh, for those of you guys who follow me on Instagram, you probably saw us win that tournament. So let's go ahead, let's throw this on that rod. The other thing I don't have for it is line. I probably have mono for it. We probably can put some mono on it uh, for the time being. If not, then we're gonna have to run over to Bass Pro, which is fine, because it's right next to Home Depot, and I need to go to Home Depot. And we can go test this sucker out today. I got nothing else to do. You know, like I've already done my stuff for the, the morning. I've already put my desk together. I got you guys to hang out with. What else more do you need? So let's let me go look for some line. If we don't have line, I'll see you at Bass Pro. Just kidding. I found some mono. It's 12 pound test. If I were gonna put braid, I'd probably put 10, 15 pound braid on a reel like this. So 12 pound mono, it's kind of around that, you know? So I figured let's send it. And we're probably only gonna go bass fish with it today. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. We'll, we'll find something to do with it today. 100%. Uh, we're going to make Augie. We'll, we'll bug him, make him come with us. Typical, you know. This is what he signed up for. Either way, let's put the line on this reel. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm filming this on my telephone. Uh, I just wanted to say, because I completely forgot to tell you guys, to use my code POOLJET20. I will leave it on the screen, all capital letters, I believe. Uh, you, you could maybe use lowercase, but don't just use all capital or even better, just click the link that's in the description along with all the other links that are down there if you'd like to check them out. But if you do click this specific link to Outback Culture, it will take you right to the reel, I believe, and it already applies the discount code. Uh, I'm like 85% sure. Uh, I, mean, I could have read the, the email wrong, but yeah. So if you guys want, go down there, click it, smack it, suck it. What? All right, I'll see you later. We are all done I'm spooling that line. But I did realize, you know what? If we're gonna go fish, I would like to make, you guys are gonna hate me, I wanna use a lure that I created, huh? As you can see, there's stuff everywhere. So right here isn't gonna work. So I have my old desktop that we're gonna use uh, right now just on sawhorses because I don't have anything else to put them on uh, for legs. So we're gonna throw them on that and then it should be pretty straightforward from there. Uh, this will be underneath it uh, as like drawer systems for right now and all this stuff will end up on top of it as like a little station and set up. I'll we'll have to organize a few other little things, but should be a-okay. So let's jump into the organization. All right, everybody. 
everybody. We got everything all cleaned up and organized. So we're going to, uh, let's let's make us a new lure for today. I need to get different molds. I'm tired of making swim baits, to be honest with you. I've already made one, two, three, like five bags full of 10 each. So we've made about 50 of these things. Uh, I'm, I'm more or less, I'm just redoing it over and over and over, trying to figure out uh, like really just like the proper ratio of stuff, different colors, uh, just really trying to figure out the actual craft of it, not necessarily the production side of it, if that's the right wording. But we are going to do, I'm thinking this motor oil color, go ahead, slap that down. Uh, and then maybe like a little bit of red and a little bit of black flake and then maybe just a tiny tiny bit of green uh, and I, I don't think we're doing anything else it's gonna be a very very light coating of this uh, but I think what I'm gonna do to try and get a better idea of my color is let's go ahead and dump our plastic salt in just getting a nice little bit in there that's uh, around three quarters a cup so that should make me about one and a half ish batches which is perfect I don't want to go too crazy since this is again like I said experimenting and we'll do Let's say we'll do 10 drops of this. And we'll, we'll do, I don't know how many, that was, I don't know. I got, I got a stream in there. Let's give it a little, little, little mix up here. That's interesting color. Okay. Didn't expect that at all. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of green. I, <laughs> I say tiny, yet I pour a whole like scoop of it in. Do a lot more black and a lot more red. And this should give us like, I'm hoping like almost like a brownish something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're gonna get out of this color combo here. It is very sparkly, I will say. Very, very, very sparkly for the amount of stuff I did put in there. For two minutes, and we should be good. Hey, what's going on everybody? Really quick, uh, this is past me. Well, let me just back up a second. So the other day when I was originally filming this video, couldn't go fishing, something came up, so I couldn't go. Then today, I'm like, okay, uh, I can go fishing now, but I filmed a video in between this current video and the one that was supposed to go before this one, but we're not gonna put that one before, so it's actually gonna come up tomorrow. That right, or I'm sorry, it won't be uploaded till Monday because we're uploading Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday's off, Monday through Friday. So I just wanted to kind of clear the air there. That's what's going on. So this video may look a little different. Uh, stuff in the background may look a little different than uh, the next video. But then Tuesday's video will pick up basically right where this one leaves off. So just wanted to preface that really quick. So anyway, back to the fishing. Oh, we're into YouTuber classic. Set it down right there. And we'll give it a suck here. I know you guys probably can't see me. Just gonna run through them. Oops, it's all good, all good. And if anyone's curious, why are you doing this on a wood table? Well, guess what? It's not a table, it's actually a door, and it's fireproof. It is actually a fireproof door that is supposed to go on like an exit door or an exit room or whatever. I turned it into a, a desk a while back, me and my dad did. You know what, this, this might actually have turned out okay. All right, we'll squirt the rest. Oh, just kidding, I think I'm down to the bottom. I don't know what I think of this color, by the way. I was hoping for it to be more of like a, like a light brown but it's kind of more of like a, a greenish. Didn't really expect that. We'll let this cool down and see what we got. Give it a little lift off. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. We're still looking a little dark. I gotta figure this out. I think I'm doing too much coloration. I think it literally only needs like three, four drops and then it would be perfect. So let's pull all these guys out and check these out. I don't know how well you guys can see the color, but it's like a light brown, very shiny, it kind of looks like Christmas, with all the different blues and greens. And this one didn't get injected in this part. It's hollow up here. You guys can see, look at that, nice and hollow. So that one useless to me right now. So I just threw it back over here into the bucket and we will remelt that some other time. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these little tips off real quick. And we can see the lure rigged up in its final form. Look at this guy right here, beautiful. Looking good, it should swim nice. So let's go ahead and rig the rod, get it on the rod, and uh, see how it all feels. And we're outside, baby. Shut this door, oh, it's nice out. Ah, uh, this feels good on my feet. Nice little sun. A little free show for you guys, for anyone who's out there. But let's check on our man Spike here. What's going on in here, buddy? Ugh. What's up, pal? I know, probably a lot of noise out here this morning. Oh. 
Ugh. Yeah, the old lawn guys came and they, they, they trimmed him up good here. They, they know he's in here for anyone who's, who's curious, but we got to uh, we got to fix his water dish, uh, refill it, and then uh, just give him some food here. And other than that, it looks good with the grass cut. Huh? Not too shabby. They also brought our chairs in, so I'll have to put our chairs back out there. But uh, yeah, sh shout out to our man who cuts the grass. Well, let's get Spike all taken care of, and hopefully uh, he, may, he may come out while we're out here, but probably not. He don't like me that much. Oh, Augie's hooked up. I I did something. I don't know what I just did. I I, I goofed. Augie cut himself a nice cichlid. Augie, what? Augie just threw his cichlid back and already... He, did you catch another cichlid? Oh, no, you actually got a bass this time. That's good. I'm so proud of you, Augie. Look at you with your bass. Well, I asked you, what do you, do you what'd you got? And you, you said, oh, I, I got... There we go. Oh, my God. Almost took fire. Oh my god, he was peeling drag. It is not tight on this thing at all. It was wiggling. I've about lost everything. Oh, oh my god, I lost him again. God, I got freaking hammered too. So far, this reel's holding up pretty good. I mean, it casts very well. This, I, I should have put braid on here. Uh, the, the, the mono, I think, is either too light, uh, and it's been curled up on a spool so long that... It just wants to, do, yeah, that that right there, what it just did. So that is, uh, that's the old mono deal there. Maybe one, one of these days we'll get it out in the old salt water, give it the old real test, make Augie catch himself a nice shark on it. There we go, fine. Oh, my drag is loose. I need to tighten it. Maybe that's why I'm not getting any fish. Ugh. That's a, why does he look so weird? Why is he shaped like that? I don't know if you guys could hear Augie, but he said he looked like a like a smallmouth, and I mean, I guess like he doesn't, but he does at the same time. I don't know. He he looked weird when his mouth was closed. Look at him when his he's just so fat and stocky. He got smoked on his side. I don't know what happened. But all right, buddy, see you later. Oh, get him! Yeah, I oh, got himself a nice bass. I watched him hit it on top. Oh, that one's pretty good. Nice. Oh, you got it. Oh, he's in the line. No. Oh no! Just give him the old flip in. Give him the old toss in the water. Uh, okay. See you later, Bell. Oh, stick him, Augie. Yeah. I was looking back at Augie trying to catch his. Oh, I got me one too. Oh, mine's is mine wrapped. Oh no, never mind. I was using a really light rod, so I couldn't really tell. Oh, he had a buddy with him, Augie. That could have been cool. I think what happened was I couldn't feel my fish because I think the other one ate my worm while he, this one was hooked. So it felt weird. Ew, yours is yucky. Why is he so skinny? His head's so big. You know, flop. What's going on down here, pal? Here we go. This is my number two. How many you got, Augie? I don't know. I stopped keeping track. Augie's so good, he doesn't even try to count. See you later, pal. All right, boys. Casting back out in the middle. Reel's doing really good. I can't believe how light it is. I mean, granted, I put on a really light, light tip rod, light weight rod, all that. But uh, for anyone who was curious, it is a 3,000 size reel. The gear ratio, as you guys can see here, I think you guys can see it. I don't know how well the GoPro's picking this up. But it's, uh, it is a 5 to 2, or 5.2 to 1 gear ratio. And uh, that's, that's about it. Simple as that. It's a nice, uh, I do like the handle choice. A, a lot of smaller reels would do either like a tinier handle or like the bigger, like almost like the, the flat, I call it like a paddle, but uh, I like the knobs. I think knobs are a good way to go, no matter what the reel is. Size-wise, it is a good idea to put the old power handle on there, so you can really put the old hammer down to them. Oh! Oh, I missed him! Yeah! Yes, sir! Oh, I was reeling this up. That was sick. Come on, fishy. Oh, he came off right there. Stop. I'm a winner. Smoked him. He's smoking my Senko on top. 
he, he loved the old high-speed Senko drill. Look at that right there. With the old Helix 2.0 reel right there. Beautiful picture if you ask so myself. Look at that. Oh, God, yeah. All right, pal. Thank you so much for my fishy, and see you later, big dog. This might be the end, doggy. Might be. This lady's walking over here with some power in her foots. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Huh? What'd she say? No Rip. We got smoked. Well, boys, old Sharon over there got pissed.